Hey guys, it's me, Roger Chaita, and welcome back to a commentary. The footage you're going to see behind me is a match in Studio, which is a remake of a map from Black Ops 1. This is Black Ops 2 footage, by the way. And I went 34 to 4, I believe, with the MCMR. I don't know, I'm going to check that out soon. But um, today's topic I want to talk about is cross platform playing. This has been in the news recently, and it's kind of bugged me a bit. Well, not really bugged, but it's intrigued me, and, it, and it's intrigued some of my friends at school. And we've been talking about in school recently and I thought why would I talk with you guys so if you know what cross-platform playing is it's basically let's say okay here's the real scenario so my so I've got Rocket League on my PS4 and my friend has an Xbox one but he also has Rocket League as well on his Xbox one and me and him want to play but we can't because they're two different networks you know one's PlayStation and one's um, Microsoft but what cross-platform pl playing is basically I can play with him even though he's got a different console to me and I found that kind of cool as well and mine boggling because that's gonna like stop the war between you know PlayStation and Xbox one and PC I think Microsoft already done it with um Xbox one and comp and PC as well with Rocket League I think that's I read in the news recently but it's been bugging me because you know imagine how cool that will be you know it's of like these wars going on like oh yeah PS4 is better or Xbox one is better you know we could all play together in unison and that hasn't happened in a long time I mean I think in 2002 you can play Final Fantasy um, 12 or 11 I don't know which Final Fantasy but you can play Final Fantasy which is a game by Square Enix or Enix and that was between the PS2 and the PC but imagine this next gen you know with all this hardware power the PS4 can handle Xbox one can handle and imagine putting these two communities together and um, I, I believe that Xbox uh, well Microsoft gave out an open you know, an open question to you know, all these producers or game developers or whatever co uh, companies like Sony and all saying, why don't we make this one massive community and we can all play together? And I think Sony's response was think about it, but for currently we won't but currently we won't do it. But imagine how cool it would be to play with your friend with a different console. It will solve so many problems, all right? With like friends saying, oh, um, I've got this game. Do you want to play this game? Oh, I don't have this game because, well, I mean, I've got the game, but I don't have the console. Because there has been so many struggles. I cannot stress how many struggles there have been. But there have been so many struggles where my friends got the same game as me, but I can't play with him. But I can relate to solely everything he says because... He's got the same game as me, and I'm better than him, no offense, but, um, you know, I can't play with him because he's on a different console, and that is so annoying, because it's not like I can pick up a, a new console from, let's say, the shop down my road and pick that up and plug it in, because they're really expensive, especially if you've got all these accounts on one system and you don't create a new account for another system because another problem with you know online gaming now is that for ps4 and xbox one if you're going to play next gen you gotta get you know um you know their subscription so xbox live for xbox and uh, playstation plus for playstation and that really suck i mean for me especially because i've got school stuff you know i'm busy with my own life I can't, you know, spend so much money on the subscription and only play for a couple of hours and thought, that's it, I can't because I've got exams. Like, that's what I wanted to do because every year I used to get PlayStation Plus since I got my PS4. I got it for two years and then I realised for my first and second year, I didn't play it that much during, you know, when I had it and it really sucked because I really wanted to, you know, play with my friends but I couldn't and then I was like, I just wasted eight months out of my 12 month subscription, like what the hell am I doing? So that's why I haven't got PlayStation Plus now and that's why there's kind of a bit of lack of games on my channel just because it's so hard to you know record games but I just wanted to discuss this um this topic because this topic's been around the news and it's been circling I've been reading it everywhere people are saying different stuff about it it's good because of this it's good it's bad because of that I mean it's good because hey it just stops all like wars between each community of like PlayStation versus Xbox stuff like that. but the bad thing is that like how is it gonna manage it's gonna be mainly Sony is it gonna be Microsoft is it gonna be 50 50 who's gonna make the most profit because end of the day these companies mainly care about money that's all it is that's what gaming is, it's all about that money. They want you to buy an Xbox One because they've got good exclusives like Halo and, you know, Sunset Overdrive. They, but you want to buy a PS4 because of the Uncharted and Ratchet and Clank. But they tear you up and it really sucks because these things are not cheap. They are, when I bought my PS4, I bought mine for 400 and 20 pound because i bought playstation plus i bought the console i bought a game with it and 
you know, looking back, I know it's gone cheaper, but it's still expensive for someone who's, you know, not going to play as much and who's more one side than another. Because I'm a PlayStation boy. Okay, I'm not got anything against Microsoft, but I'd rather have a PlayStation because I grew up with PlayStation. I had a PlayStation 1, 2, 3, 4, Vita, and a PSP. I think I've had nearly all of them, for God's sake. But it's just an interesting topic. So, guys, tell me what you think in the comment section below. Do you think this is a good idea? Do you think it's a bad idea? You know, hit me up in the comment section below. And um, that's all I've got to say for this topic. Um, please like, comment, subscribe. It's been a boy, Rush89, and I will see you guys on another video. See ya.